Okay, well, I hope this is working. I'm going to try to do a screen record and uh, talk over it at the same time using the same recorder. So, really, I have no idea if this is actually working or not. So what I thought I'd do is I'd make a video showing what I'm seeing on the screen, trying a couple of different features, and then maybe ask a couple of questions, and maybe you guys could check in and let me know what the hell it is I'm doing wrong and what's going on. So you can see, we're warming up. Just waiting for a GPS signal to come in. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Uh, yeah, sure, that's where I am. Okay, so we're going to use the buttons here so you guys get to see what's going on. So, we'll launch. The home point has been a takeoff. Alright, gain a little altitude here. Couple of crows. I don't know if I got them or not. Alright. So the first thing I'm kind of wondering about is these menus. So I'm going to try the tap fly menu, which I've played with a few times now, but I'm still not exactly working out how it works. So I think I'm starting to get some of it. So if I tap over here and say go, the unit's going to take off over there. Now because I tap below the horizon line, I believe it's going to descend. That little green marker in the center there appears to be my home point. So now, there's some little sheep over there in that field. We're going to go take a look and see if we can see them. So here's where I get a little confused is how, other than the pause button, I don't know any way other than continuous motion. So at this point here, I'd like to take a look at these sheep. So I'm actually going to go into pause. Now you can see my altitude has descended down to 7 meters, so I'm quite freaking low. Also, the ISO seems to jump around a lot. I, uh, I know you can use the little roller button here to select it, but it, uh, it always seems to be just on the edge of too bright, too dark. So I'm kind of pissing around with it all the time. See, as I come around this way, you're going to notice that it's gonna get a little dark. Now there's a power line between here and there, so I'm just gonna rise up a little bit. And head back over again. Alright, so let's head over those horses there. Actually, you know, before we do that, I'm gonna take it out of tap fly. And return the mode to normal. And uh, I want to play the sport mode a little bit. Oh, my battery's already quite low. I must have started with quite a low battery. So it is, they tell you that the gains are set high in sport mode, and they aren't kidding. I think it's a little twitchy to operate. Again, that's where those power lines are, but we're well above them. Alright, so I'm going to return back to uh, P mode. I'm going to drop down here. I'm going to go over and take a look at this horse. And we're going to try some tracking. Alright, little horse. Alright, so this horse here, that's BB. That's Dookie. Alright, my wife will kill me for that, because that's not really Dookie. It's actually some other fancy freaking name that I refuse to call him. It's just a yearling. He's really got no idea what's going on. Alright, so I'm going to go into Active Track. I'm going to track my little horse here. I'm going to click OK. OK, hey, it tracked good this time. So I've had a lot of problems with it in the past on non-human subjects. Whereas right now it seems to be OK on a non-human subject. I was kind of hoping it was going to screw up so I could show you. So I'm going to descend down a little bit. 
So now that I'm holding target on him, I can see it. I'm in visual flight range. That's why I know when I swing around here, I'm not going to strike a barn or something. But now that I'm tracked onto him, I'm using my uh, cyclic stick sideways, or whatever you want to call it, to go sideways, and it becomes orbit. So it actually does a beautiful freaking orbit once you've been tracked onto something. Now these silly horses won't cooperate with me. I'd like them to run around while I orbit them so I can see how the tracking works with an in motion. Ah, oh, see, we lost him. So why do you think we lost him there? Is it the fence? So I'm going to stop that, start a new track, and no. So is it the fence? Is it, it shouldn't be altitude, I'm at 8.4 meters. All right, let's go over and try Dougie. Maybe Dougie's got better, better trackability. See how the ice flow gets screwed up again too? All right, so we're still in active track, so I should be able to track. Okay, so we got a horse. So the horse is actually coming over to see me to see what I'm doing, so I'll let him follow. Hey, doggy. Yeah, I know, you're being chased by a great big fly. He's like, dude, what the hell's the story with this thing? Okay, so we're gonna pan around to the side. So the other thing I've noticed is the camera automatically returns to the back of a target every time, too. So when I pan, hey, dude. Yeah, you can't go right in the controller. I know, I see ya. When I pan a target, it uh, it always wants to return to the back of it. So you kind of got to keep in mind on it that uh, as you're tracking items and you're following things, it'll get a little screwy on you sometimes. Yeah, well, go and run around so we can see you run. All right, fine. Don't run around. See if I care. See, damn horses. Okay. Stop tracking him. Come over here and we're gonna track me. All right. All right, so now we're gonna human track, which I've always had good luck with. All right. So now it should start tracking me. And we've got a tree above us, so I wonder how it's going to interfere with that. Oh, look at that. It's not tracking me. It's lost me completely. So I've had this before, too. It's actually tracking the shadow on the ground at this moment in time. Yeah. Yeah, it's tracking the shadow on the ground. So this time it decides to actively track something on the ground. So we'll just try again. Me. Okay, track me, you bastard. Okay, so I got my finger on the pause button because I'm dangerously close to some power lines. Okay, well, it looks good. So we're going to head towards this tree and see how it deals with that. Oh, see, it lost me again. So I'm going into the light and shadow seems to confuse it. I'm almost getting low on battery, too. I'm going to try one more time. Track. That dude there. All right, so it's tracking. Now is it gonna lose me as soon as I go through these shadows? All right, it's getting close to the tree. I got my finger on the pause, because it is above. Yeah, you know, it's dropped a bit. I'm gonna drop it a little more here, because it is complaining. But it's still tracking me. So what if I head in between these trees? All right, still going. Yeah, it's got a good track on me. So we're gonna go in between a couple of narrow trees here and we'll see what it has to say about that. You know what, I can see already that the height's gonna be an issue. I'm gonna try to drop it down. I don't know how well it'll active track at lower altitudes. Yeah, see, it's already unhappy. It's uh, sensing the trees and saying, no, I can't, there's no path through there for me. Oh, maybe, maybe. A little lower, maybe? No, it's lost the track. 
Okay, well, I don't really blame it there because it's a little bit of a confusing situation to fly through. All right. So, I guess what I'm getting at is uh, the panning. Like, I don't understand when I'm pushing down here to fly around, how do I make it turn around in a U shape? I think I'm figuring above and below the horizon for ascending and descending. And in the act of tracking, the shadows seem to be fairly, I don't know, they just kind of cancel the track. Because right now, I'm standing here, I got 27% battery, so I'm going to track mode still. I'm going to track on myself again, and I'm in a continuously lit situation now. And I walked right out of frame, like nothing. See? I don't understand. Okay, so I'll get back in frame here. Okay, I'm in frame. Track that dude, right there. Okay. Low so battery warning. Ah, oh, I'm getting a low battery. All right, well, we'll stop that, and we'll just land it. Landing. And then we'll check this to see if it actually recorded any of the audio. And if it did, I'll see it on YouTube. Okay, that's it.